welcome back to Beauty Bee and to Palette Bingo. We haven't done one of these in a very, very long time. In fact, I don't think I've done my makeup on camera in at least a couple of weeks, though it may well have been less time since you last saw me do my makeup on camera. Anyway, beside the point, today we are going to be doing a, a palette bingo using my Dolce Ron palette for the months of September and October. Now I did build the first iteration of this palette on camera. I will have that video linked up in the cards, but I have made a few changes here and there since then. Um, it's definitely been a living project. So right now there are 26 shades in this palette. I'm going to randomly select four of them and uh, incorporate those four into my look. I will also potentially draw in a couple of additional shades again from this palette. But let's get started. I have my random number generator pulled up. I think we're going to go one through six, seven through 12, We'll count this as a row of seven, which would be 19. And then this bottom row would get us to 26. So, 14, so six, 12, 13, 14. This is of quartz from ColourPop. I don't actually know the names of all the shades in this palette. I just know this one because it's in my Pamela's eyeshadows for the month. It is a light pink with some glitter in it. It's more, it's really a matte with glitter, which I'm fine with. Next up, shade four, one, two, three, four, is this blue. This is from Wet n Wild. And I have repressed it into a singles pan. Shade 12 is Glass Bowl from ColourPop. And then finally, shade 20. So 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, which is a deep brown with a matte with a little bit of a red undertone from Fizier. So here's what we have to work with. I'm going to think through exactly how I want to go about this as I get on some eye primer and maybe a little bit of other base makeup, and I will be back in just one sec. Okay, so I have my eye primer on, I've set my eye primer, and I've penciled in my brows. And I think I now have a plan of attack. My thought is that I will start with this blue all over the lid, add a little bit of glass bowl right in the center. I think that will give it an interesting, shifty, um, transformed look. Glass bowl tends to pair quite well with blues and greens and grays, so I think that'll be really pretty. I'll probably blend into my crease and transition area using the pink and then probably uh, smudge the brown along at least my lower lash line and then possibly my upper lash line as well. So I think I have a plan. I'm glad that I wore a black shirt today so that it would go with anything. And I think let's just, let's just get right into it. Starting with the blue, like I said, I'm just gonna put that all over the lid. I'm always so impressed with this shade. Like, how did Wet n Wild of all brands manage to make such a solid, pretty blue eyeshadow? Not that Wet n Wild is bad, but it just seems like, it seems like you should have to pay more than what, like 30 cents for this eyeshadow. It comes in a 32 pan palette that's like $10. So yeah, 30 cents ish. 31.25 cents. Okay. So I like 
that. It's, it's definitely a look so far. Now I'm going to take glass bowl. I think I'm just going to take it on another finger because why not? I don't really want to get my brushes dirty. Such a pretty shade. I love how shifty it is. I'm just going to put that right on the center of the lid. I kind of want to put it all over the rest of the lid, but I think that might be a little too much. Let's at least put it all the way in. I won't take it all the way out, but all the way in is so pretty. This is such a good shade. I don't know why I haven't used it in a while. I know I put it in this palette, but I don't think that I've used it since I put it in this palette. I think this palette was maybe just a little bit too big for its own good, which I think is okay if it's going to you know, be much of what I use for the court over the course of two months. I mean, I definitely wouldn't want to have a really small selection, but I don't know. I feel like in, in any given week, there are a ton of colors in here that I don't use, and I'm not sure that I like that for a Build Your Own palette. Okay, so now we're gonna finally pull in a brush and I'm going to take just this quite big crease brush and go into a quartz, which is the pink. Just stick that in the crease, use it to blend things a little bit. I don't know that that's really showing up as actual color, but it is doing a nice job of blending out the blue. Maybe I will dip in to a little bit of this purple as well and mix it with the pink just to get a little bit of actual color in the, in the crease rather than just blend. I think that's helping. Yeah, that's pretty. I like that. Now for the lower lash line, I'm going to go in with this smudger brush and that deep brown. Oof. I need to put down my palette and so I can have two hands. Hopefully I'm not shaking the table too much. So that's with just the bottom lash line lined. I think I'm going to add a little bit to the top lash line as well and also fix this little bald spot. There we are. Okay. Yeah, I think that was a good addition. I don't want a lot of depth and I don't want a really crisp line, but just want a little bit of something to marry the two halves of my eye. I feel like they were looking a little unbalanced. Imbalanced. Okay. hands are such a mess. But I think that, that is looking good. I am going to add a little bit of brow bone highlight and for that I'm going to go into the white that is in this palette. Which is the shade. Maybe add a little bit of, of quartz as well because, you know, why not? Let's pop that on the brow bone.
and I will add some mascara and then we will do the rest of my face. I'll also take off this tinted lip balm that I have on while I'm at it because we don't really need that for this look. Okay, so we have that on. I think I'm going to go with this really bright pinky purple blush from ColourPop. This is the shade Night Bloom. And this is a relatively recent addition to my collection, but it is a much loved addition. And just, you know, a normal blush brush. Just going to put a little bit of that on. This can build up really quickly, so I want to work slow. Because this could get really out of control really fast. Tiny bit more. Okay, so I'm liking that. Um, I'm going to add my tinted lip balm because I guess I just switched out one tinted lip balm for another. This one is from e.l.f. and it is their Hydrating Core Lip Shine in Ecstatic. It's just a little bit of cool toned color. And I think that I need a little bit of highlight. So why not go in with this shade? This is from Wet n Wild and it is their Color Icon Baked Blush in Don't Flutter Yourself. I use this as a blush topper. Um, maybe for some people it is a highlighter, but not me. Or I guess maybe for some people it's a blush, but it's that would, that'd be a lot of shine, because I mean, look at that. I mean, I went in pretty light with that, and it's still super, super glowy. Which, if you can pull that off on your cheeks in a really concentrated way, good for you. But I think I have a little too much texture for that to look really nice. And I think that's probably it for the face. I am, however, going to add a little bit of bronzer to my shoulders because my shoulders are very pasty. And I want them to look a little bit less so. So I'm going to go into a mixture of this gold and this bronzer shade from Physicians Formula and just stick it on my shoulders. Probably a little on my neck too, or at least uh, the very upper portion of my chest, and I think that will probably take us to the end of this video. Yeah, I am pretty happy with where that is. Um, oh, that's, that palette is so, so scented. It's insane. Um, little bit of perfume because I'm here already and I think that is my final look. I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. I think that especially for a palette bingo it ended up being a relatively cohesive look. I mean part of that is probably the fact that the pink barely showed up but even when it's mixed with the purple I think it looks really nice in the crease. Um, I'm just I'm really happy, A, with this look, and B, just with this palette in general. I think it is so, so beautiful, and I have really enjoyed playing with it over the, this past month, and I'm looking forward to continuing to use it over the upcoming month. Thank you so, so much for watching. I will have my palette bingo playlist. That's about the fourth time I've tried saying that finally got it out correctly. Linked up in the cards. If you like this style of video, I hope you will check it out. Please consider liking and subscribing if you enjoyed, and I really hope that I will see you in my next video. Bye!